Hi everyone. Um, today I am going to talk about the benefits of two more oils that I own. And today I am talking about castor oil. Both the regular castor oil and the Jamaican black castor oil. So I'm going to talk about both of those and the benefits of both of those. What's very good about the both of them is that a lot of the benefits that I do mention apply to both of them. If there is anything that is different, different between the two, I will let you know which one I'm talking about and which one it really applies to. Okay, so for both the castor oils, um, I just realized I have the wrong list. Okay, I'm back and I have the right list. So as far as the castor oils, I'm going to show you. This is a regular castor oil that I purchased. It's um, have a yellowish clear color. And um, it's pure cold pressed, top quality oil. The bottle explains that it soothes and softens the skin and it's perfect for health, promoting packs. And it's 100% castor oil. So this is how this one looks. Now the Jamaican black castor oil Here's how this one looks now. I have not opened it yet because there is a challenge I want to use this for, but I will share the benefits. This is the Jamaican black castor oil. It's by um, Tropic Isle Living. And um, it says it's all purpose healing oil, 100% natural, no salt. And it's from the castor oil plant, the oil nut tree. And um, they use the seeds to plant, um, of this plant to make um, their hand processed black castor oil and there is a picture of the plant I wish it was clear but to tell you the truth living here in Florida we spotted one of these plants and it was just out there like in the bushes just out there I wanted to go and hack it down to make my own castor oil but I know I'm never going to do that but it's there in Florida so um, these are how the two of them look. Now the color of this one is more of a reddish brown consistency. Similar color as the bottle. And this one is more of a clear yellow consistency. They're both very, very, very thick oils. So I'm going to talk about how the benefit, what the benefits are and how you can use it. Okay, so um, the castor oils, both of them is which I'm, what I'm talking about right now, is that um, they both promote hair growth. They both um, help the hair grow back thicker, which is true because the oil itself is thicker. So it, it makes the hair seem thicker or it does help it to grow back thicker. If someone has edges that are, um, say, thin or are... Um, say breaking off or thinning out because of hairstyles that may put a lot of stress on their edges or it could be hereditary um if they have thinning edges because of that or maybe a thinning crown they can apply either castor oil and over time their hair will thicken up it helps to promote and get that thickness back you know helps their hair grow and there's pictures out there showing before and after what castor oil can do it reduces and prevents hair damage. You can um, apply the bow for that. Both of them eliminate dry hair, makes your hair look fuller, once again, thicker and shinier. And it can be used as a deep conditioner and moisturizer for the scalp. It helps prevent dry scalp. A lot of um, times, castor oil is not so as much applied to the hair itself, but to the scalp and uh, possibly the ends to keep the ends moisturized and flourishing so that they don't break off. Now, apart from this castor oil, Jamaican black castor oil is um, a little bit different because it's raw. It's raw castor oil. It has more nutrients because this it says it's cold pressed. Um, so it's processed in some type of way, even though it's 100% pure. Jamaican black castor oil, a lot of people may prefer that more because it literally is um, raw from the plant and it has a lot more nutrients in it. 
is rich in omega-9 fatty acids that help um, to moisturize the scalp. And once again, this is this, the black castor oil that I'm talking about. And um, it can ward off infections that cause hair loss and scalp disease. So it may not prevent, like if something is hereditary, it's hereditary. Um, castor oil may be able to slow the process down, but it may not be able to stop what's happening. But um, if used over time, it can ward off infections that cause hair loss. Now we're talking about something that's not hereditary. Um, it can ward off infections that cause hair loss and scalp disease. So if someone is finding that their hair is beginning to thin in more than one place or in one place more hair is coming out, hop on that castor oil because castor oil really does help promote hair growth and helps to thicken hair. So these are the benefits of both castor oil and Jamaican black castor oil. I will talk about um, what I'm going to use this for and obviously for my hair but in a later video I'll talk about what I'm going to use that for. Um, as far as how to apply the oils to the scalp, I have an oil bottle with the spout on the end, like very thin that you can put upside down and really, you know, get into your scalp. And I showed it in previous videos, so if you need to see it, you can go back to my previous videos, especially if I mention a hair regimen or something like that. Um, and what you can do is apply it all over the scalp and literally massage, massage it in. You know, your scalp is skin too. In our body, our skin likes to feel massages. So you literally go and you massage in everything. You massage it in. And this can be every night. This can be every other night. This can be every third night. But it's good to apply the castor oil as much as possible. Now, um, applying castor oil can make your scalp itch um, over time. Not may not be immediately. I can make your scalp itch because it's thick oil and it can attract, you know, um, dirt, not lint, I was going to say lint, which can too if you roll your head around, but I mean, on, on the ground, but it, it can attract, you know, something that can make your hair itch. Now, to balance that off, you can mix your castor oil with just a little bit of jojoba oil. So now we're finding another benefit of jojoba oil, which I spoke about in my first video. So if you um, say apply this castor oil three times a week and somewhere in the middle of the week your scalp starts itching, apply some jojoba oil and do the same thing. You don't even have to apply a lot of it. Do the same thing. Massage it right into your scalp. Be good to your hair. Be good to your scalp because that's where the hair growth is coming from. So those are the benefits of castor oil. Um, I have, let's see, I think three more oils to talk about, which I'll talk about in my next video because when I originally looked at my oils, I forgot about my Jamaican black castor oil. So instead of six different oils, I actually have seven. And in the next video, I will talk about the last three. So until next time, I will see everyone later. Bye.